Hi, everybody. I just had a couple teachers ask if I could show them some examples of different webinars that they could use um, for their students. So um, right now I have a couple different options um, available to you. Um, the first one that I used is Zoom. It's super easy for the students to get on their phone or on their computer, and they can use it in a variety of different ways. Um, so you just sign up. Um, so I already have an account, so I'll sign in. And once you sign in, it gives you your personal meeting ID. Um, I just have the basic plan, uh, which is, it's fine. It's good. It has enough that I need. You can have up to 100 people in a meeting. The only problem is that you can only have uh, a 40 minute webinar. So you would either have to shut down your webinar and then start a new one uh, if you wanted to do a full class time, or you'd only be able to have uh, 40 minutes. So it's really up to you. Either one works. So once you have it downloaded and you have uh, your plan, you'll download the app on your phone, which looks like this, or sorry, not on your phone, your computer. Um, so I um, did, you can schedule meetings for this, which is awesome. So, um, so for example, I would say like at 10 a.m., um, trial run for webinars. <clears throat> I have that you need a password. Um, I allow that you can have the video and you can have uh, participants to include their video as well. Put that you want telephone and computer audio on it because um, then it makes sure that they can um, they can do it on either or, either on their phone, which is what some of my students did yesterday, um, or some of them were in their houses, okay? So then you would hit schedule. It schedules it into your... Um, Outlook. You can uh, email it to people right away if you want. The other thing that you can do, which is kind of nice, is um, I can do copy invitation and then I can go to my Google Classroom and hit paste and then post it. They know it's a trial run, although some of them don't always read all the information. And then all they have to do is hit uh, join meeting. So um, Normally, I would have, uh, I'd be able to just hit start and then uh, my video would show up. Now, I'm already recording and so I can't show the video as well. So I can only join with computer audio, but normally you'd be able to join with computer audio and video, which is why it says can't start video. So then students just kind of join in and they pop in. They will all show up at the top of your screen and then um, they will be able to join into the video. Okay. So then, sorry, I had to pause it. My child came upstairs. <laughs> so then um, once you're in the Zoom app, like I said, everything will show up there. It'll show their names. If they want to join a video, they can. Uh, you can also have the chat going, which is kind of nice. You can type messages to everybody. Hi, everyone. Uh, that way, if anybody wants to not join on the actual video portion or use their audio, they can just type questions and then you can answer them as they pop up. Um, the other thing you can do is you can actually record the video that you are making so that you can then post the link later. And then that way students, um, who missed it can see it afterwards. Okay. Um, so that's pretty awesome. And then, uh, so I have it as sharing screen so that kids can all join up if they want. Uh, you can manage the participants right now. It's just me. You can mute them if you don't want them to interrupt you. Um, you can unmute all of them, things like that. They can mute themselves um, as well. And you'll be able to see that kind of on the screen. So as you can see, I don't have the video going because I'm already making a video, um, but I do have the audio going. Okay. And then when you're done with the meeting, you just hit end. Okay. So end meeting for all. Everybody's uh, done. Now, they can also request a meeting as well with you, um, which is kind of cool. The only problem I have found with this one is that sometimes it, um, if you put the link, they try to join right away. Now, they can unjoin and then join back later, but I think it's a bit confusing for them sometimes. Now, the other awesome thing that you can do is in the Teams app. So you go into Microsoft Teams, um, and when you go into your team, uh, so this is my 30-1 um, self-paced, my full year one. Um, you can hit this little button down at the bottom. It'll say meet now. Now this one, so like this is just trial run. Okay, and now you see me twice. <laughs> I'm going to close this out. Uh, and then you'd hit meet now. And then again, they can join in. So this is for my entire class. So they could pop in if they wanted. So like here's some of my kids. Um, and then again, they can uh, participate in the chat.
uh, the, you can also attach things within here if you need uh, for Teams. Now, the only downside of the Teams app is that if they don't have it um, on their computer or their phone, it's a bit more difficult to contact them. The plus side of using the Teams app for webinars is that, I'm going to hang up this call, is that you can actually call people individually. So like this is our staff. Um, so I told Anna I might call her again. So I can call Anna. We'll see if she picks up. Uh, and then um, you can call someone individually. So if you need to talk to someone, uh, you can basically use your computer exactly as a phone. And then again, Anna could chat with me. Um, so we were kind of <laughs> testing it out earlier and it wasn't working um, or because she doesn't have... Um, Oh, see, hi, Anna. <laughs> um, and then, um, so that's the nice thing about Teams. So if you needed to call just a couple students, it's easy to do as well. Um, this one on Microsoft Teams, you can do videos for up to an hour. So it's a bit longer um, of a webinar, but again, if they don't have the app on their phone or um, directly on their computer, then it's a bit more difficult for students to use. So there are pros and cons to using both. The nice thing is about, about Teams is that it's all already set up on our computer. Um, but the nice thing about Zoom is that it's a really easy, quick tap for everybody to just join in. So thanks, Anna. I'm going to end our call. Um, and then, and, and that's really awesome that you can do that. So you could call everybody you wanted within school. Um, you can call everybody within your Teams. Um, so all of your classes should be up here. Like I have high school chaplains, my student leadership team, everything like that. So anytime you needed to talk to somebody else, um, you have that option. Um, so that's all I really have for you, but it's, um, it's pretty awesome. I like it and uh, I hope this is useful for you. If you have any questions, um, I'm not in school tomorrow, but I will be back after spring break on that Monday. So, and you can email me anytime. So um, have a great day and we'll talk to you guys soon.